Yo, what is good everybody on YouTube? My name is David. Welcome to my business channel. Here on this channel, I'm going to be teaching you guys everything business related. I'm also going to be teaching you guys how to become a successful YouTuber. Starting from this video right here, I'm gonna teach you guys how to become a successful YouTuber in the brand new year of 2020. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So before we get into it, I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering, I know this voice, I know this man, I know this guy. You guys have probably heard my voice over a number of channels and that's because I run multiple channels. I now have about 10 successful YouTube channels growing strong and man, I just figured that I'd teach you guys how to become just as successful as I am. My real name is David and I have successfully grown a ton of YouTube channels and on a majority of my channels, I always get the question, how do I become a YouTuber? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to start a successful YouTube channel in the year of 2020. If you guys ever thought about becoming a YouTuber, or maybe you were just discouraged, I'm gonna help you guys get that motivation back. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how easy it is to actually grow on YouTube. I'm gonna give you guys a little background story about myself. Most of you guys may know this story, some of you guys may not. But basically guys, I started YouTube when I was around like 21, 20 years old. And I originally started by doing sneakers. At the time, I was really into sneakers, I love sneakers but I figured it wasn't as profitable as it would have been if I would have continued to do sneakers. And I say that because if I actually became a sneaker YouTuber from the ground up, I would have to buy a new sneaker every single time it releases. Now, if you think about it and you do the math, as a YouTuber on the beginning when you're starting and in a niche like that, that's not as popular as it used to be, I would have to be pulling a lot of views every single month just to buy every sneaker every single time it came out, just to do a review. So in my head, I just thought about it as a bad business move, it wouldn't be smart for me to basically spend my YouTube check on sneakers every single time I needed to do a video. So I moved away from that. From there, I decided to just make a gaming channel for fun. This channel that I had in the beginning started off as just a vlog sneaker channel. And what happened was I just decided I'm gonna make a gaming channel on the side. So I went ahead and made a gaming channel. A lot of you guys know that I love the game Grand Theft Auto and I decided to post a couple of videos on that channel. Now, I wasn't taking anything serious. Usually when you start YouTube, you just start it for fun. So that's exactly what I was doing. I started YouTube for fun and you know, I just posted a video. The video got 100 views in one month. And I said, wow, you know, for a channel with no subscribers, a channel with no, like nothing, no promotion, no nothing, literally just starting from the ground up, this video got 100 views in one month. Now to a lot of you guys probably like, oh, 100 views, it's probably not a lot of views, but guys, to somebody who has never had any subscribers or followers and they just post a video out of the blue and get views, that's really big for them. So I went ahead to just go ahead and post it again. I said, hey, this is actually cool. Keep in mind, I started this. I was not trying to do this for money. I had my own job. I was working and doing my own thing. I was not looking into YouTube as a source of income. I literally was just doing it for fun when I started. So I posted another video and the video didn't do too well, but you know, I, like I said, I was just doing it for fun. So I posted another video and that video ended up getting half a million views. Literally that video maxed out to like 500,000 views or 560,000 views, something crazy like that. And from there, I never stopped uploading. Like, I never ever thought that I would have gotten so many views, especially from something I love to do. And with that being said, that's all YouTube is about. As long as you guys have something that you love to do, you can be a YouTuber. I tell all my friends, all my family, even people that I meet when I'm just doing stuff on a daily basis, if you guys have something that you love and you can show other people, you literally can become a YouTuber. Anybody can become a YouTuber at any point in their life. All you need to do is literally just find a way to create content. Now, a lot of you guys may be thinking it's 2020 there's so many people that's a youtubers already it's just too many people on the platform don't let that discourage you that should never discourage you there's always something different about each person that you meet in life there's never gonna be somebody that is exactly like you so why should you try and just say that there's too many people doing this YouTube thing that's not a good valid reason to not become a youtuber now I'm gonna tell you guys straight up anything that you love to do you literally can put it on camera you guys can literally put it on YouTube and the people will find you. I'm telling you, it happens just like that. Now, a lot of you guys probably have had that issue where you actually started a YouTube channel and you just didn't really know what you were doing and you weren't getting the views and you just wasn't blowing up. Well, like I said, I'm gonna be helping you guys with that on this channel. Now, a lot of you guys may be thinking, I need all the equipment. 
I have so much competition, I need the equipment. Guys, I started off of a TV that my mother-in-law gave us, and I also had a very, very, very old MacBook, I mean one of the first MacBooks, and on top of that, I had a Xbox, and I used to record my game clips from Xbox, take those clips from the website, put it onto my old MacBook, then I would go into the iMovie app that was free, then I would try and edit those videos together, and I literally had no microphone, I had to talk on my phone, the voice memo on iPhone, I used that as my voiceover, and then I just downloaded free music from YouTube and put it on my videos. And that actually was the equation that got me half a million views. So you definitely do not need all the equipment in the world. There's literally no excuse to not start a YouTube channel, especially if you're looking at something that you wanna do on YouTube, you should do it. Now, if you would've told me like years ago, I was gonna be a successful YouTuber with multiple channels, with millions of subscribers, I probably would've looked at you and said, no. I used to do music a long time ago and people used to always tell me, if you wanna be a musician, all you have to do is start a YouTube channel. And I used to be so lazy, like I don't wanna start a YouTube channel, like I feel like that's too much. And I really, really regret not doing it. Not as a musician, but just not starting a YouTube channel. If I would have known about YouTube years ago, I probably would have started a YouTube channel when I was like 15 or 14 years old. Because the sooner you start, I mean, the sooner you're going to get to a milestone. As you guys can see in my background, I have like 300,000 subscriber plaques. 300,000 subscriber plaques and one is on the way. I'm telling you guys, it is not that hard to start a YouTube channel. But that's enough for my story. I'm going to go ahead and basically tell you how you can become the next successful YouTuber on this platform all you have to do is figure out what you want to do on YouTube that is the very first step before you decide to go buy a camera before you decide to download some editing software you need to decide what you want to do on YouTube once you decide what that niche is what you then need to do is you just need to have patience you need to have consistency and you need to have confidence anything you do you have to be confident. Here is an example of confidence, okay? Now, when I started YouTube, I wasn't talking to anybody on my videos. I knew I had no audience, but when I did that video, I acted like I was talking to millions of people. Like, literally, I got on my mic on my phone, humble as can be. I didn't care that my microphone was terrible and it wasn't even a microphone, it was just my phone. I didn't care. I literally acted like I was talking to a crowd of people and pretty soon, the crowd just showed up. The same thing can happen for you. So do not think that when you guys are recording a video people aren't listening to you people can literally tune into your video at any given time so never think that you're just talking to the people who are subscribed to you act as if you are literally standing in front of the world and just telling them how you feel now patience the views aren't going to come overnight I mean sometimes they do come overnight but you'll get there over time you need to be very very patient with every video you put out you need to understand that even if a video does not do well you can always go to the next video YouTube will never penalize you for not having views on a video so that's the beauty of it you can just keep going on and on and on and on until you actually find that perfect video that you feel people will actually enjoy that you upload now let's talk about the main thing consistency if you're gonna be a youtuber you got to be consistent even if you guys have a day job when I used to work a nine-to-five I literally would come home late and I would get on YouTube and I would create a video sometimes I will upload at 10 p.m. sometimes I'll upload super early in the morning before work you guys got to figure out a schedule what is best for you now I'm not telling you to go on an upload spree and just upload every single day. Figure out what's most comfortable for you and once you guys figure out what's comfortable for you, then you can decide, well, I think it's best for me to upload in the afternoons when I get off of work or it's best for me to upload right when I wake up in the morning and I completed the video overnight. Whatever you guys decide to do, just wanna make sure you're very organized about it because people will really enjoy that. Subscribers enjoy when you upload on a schedule. Now, you don't have to do a schedule upload type of thing. You guys can do your own thing where you upload here and there, but you gotta keep in mind, it's all about consistency. That was one of the major things that actually made me successful on all of my channels consistency now yes sometimes I take off time from here and there because I'm focusing more on certain channels but when I'm focusing on those channels I literally have the most consistent upload schedule on the platform when I'm really focused in on a specific channel so that's what you guys really want to focus on I call those the three main things you need to know on YouTube if you don't know those three things you will not be successful patience confidence and consistency if you are all those things you literally will be successful 
very, very quickly. I am going to be releasing a free course pretty soon that's going to be teaching you guys everything you need to know about YouTube as far as the editing, thumbnails, getting views, earning money, everything you need to know about YouTube, you guys will know with this free course. Now, I will be letting you guys know about those free courses in the upcoming videos, so you guys just need to stay tuned for that. Now, I also wanted to let you guys know that this video is pretty much just a brief introduction to this channel. I'm going to be doing an entire series on how you guys can become successful on YouTube on this channel. So if you guys are interested in becoming a very successful YouTuber, make sure you guys subscribe with all notifications turned on. I haven't decided a upload schedule yet, but I know for sure I will be doing two videos per week. So you guys can expect a really good informative video here on the channel that's going to be just giving you guys all the knowledge you need to know about how to become successful on YouTube. I really hope you guys did go ahead to enjoy my background story and a few tips about how to start a YouTube channel. And I really hope you guys are successful in the new year. But until then, I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. It's me, your boy David. I'm signing out. Peace.